Hey everyone, so I guess this is the story is a couple of days, a week, two weeks old. Uh, it was Andrew Schiff, who was Peter Schiff, famous libertarian. Uh, Andrew Schiff, um, Peter Schiff's brother, did a radio interview and he was complaining about um, how he couldn't afford his $1.4 million house he wanted. He couldn't send all of his three or four children to this exclusive private school. And basically, things were just really tough for him. And he was, he was, you know, crying about it. He called a wambulance. All oh, people were taking his money and things were so hard. Um, and a lot of people gave him some uh, fairly big shit for it because he's making $350,000 a year which puts him I didn't check up the figures it puts him somewhere pretty darn high up I don't know top 1% top probably more than that um, but he's doing pretty darn well um, and you know in, in an economy where a lot of people that would want to have work don't have work people kind of took issue with that um, people you know where they're struggling to keep their house and he's crying about not getting the 1.4 million dollar house and having to make do with whatever nice house he's living in now um but i'll i'll say this without sarcasm i do feel sorry for the guy because obviously he is suffering obviously he is upset uh and feeling um envious and uh struggling with his lot in life now on like a real term scale if you look at him like what where he's at in life what he's earning uh you know his security for the future that seems ridiculous unfortunately that's not how the human psyche works so the fact is he's measuring himself against his peers and his peers are other really wealthy people like his brother who's a lot more wealthy i assume um and so he can be very 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 rich and still be upset in all of these ways which is why i think this whole thing isn't working this whole kind of idea of the meritocracy and everything would be and and rich people would act nice and they'd have enough and then they would go and be nice to other people it doesn't work because people get there and you know some people I think a Bill Gates can kind of even afford it because once you've reached the very top, once you've declared to everyone you're the winner forever, uh, you can probably take your foot off the pedal. But most people don't get to that level, so they're stuck somewhere with very, very high achievement. But they still feel inferior because they can still see those other people around them that are doing better. And it seems to me like a lot of people can't get over that. Um, and so instead of where you would think, well, you've got everything that anyone could reasonably expect in life, now you might dedicate yourself to being a good person and supporting your community. They don't. Instead, they go more extreme. Because there's, you know, they, they've invested all of this energy into being this amazingly powerful, wealthy person. And now they still feel they feel like they're treading water because in their own peer group they're again at that kind of middle level because where they see themselves is amongst their peers you're usually on average in the middle with the people that you know some people are less well off some people are better off and if you're earning three hundred fifty thousand dollars that means you know some people that are only earning fifty thousand and you know some people that are earning ten million and then you get very upset. Um, and so I don't think that this system is really a good or healthy one for anyone. Um, and that really includes the people that are earning that kind of money as well. Um, obviously, you know, I don't think Andrew Schiff, you know, if we wanted to start a save Andrew Schiff fund and, you know, pay him like 10, 50 million, maybe that would make him happier. Um, but obviously that would then make a lot of his peers less happy and it's not a sustainable project because we can't be um, saving um, people earning hundreds of thousands of dollars or millionaires from themselves by paying them these huge amounts of money um, instead I think you're seeing what you see in uh, kind of like um, various ape societies when there is a, a lot of kind of injustice um, in, in the tribe 
like members get less happy you see this in human societies as well um, and people get less happy and it's not just the people on the bottom it's everyone because these imbalances exist at every level except on the very top because then you're basically numero numero uno um, and then everything's fine um, except you could still lose your position obviously so that's worrying um, but yeah I don't, I don't think it's a healthy way to go to have a society where inequality is celebrated and I think one of the reasons it's not healthy is because there's no such thing as enough inequality for the people that are already benefiting from that because they're still going to feel um, like they should have more and they're going to try harder and harder to kind of um, actually like pull everything apart to make sure that they're way on top above everyone else you know so that one day they can live in a castle and have the peasants toiling the fields below um, because then they would feel better and an important thing is their social goal people like Andrew Schiff his social goal isn't to have a society of people that are all very very well off he doesn't want everyone to live in villas and be really happy and send all of their children to amazing schools which are all equally good um, no he wants himself to be better off so if everyone else would be living in villas he would need a cloud castle um, considering we can't build cloud castles that probably means that the rabble should stay somewhere down there where he can feel superior to them um, and I don't think that's a healthy model for people in his position I, it's definitely not a healthy model for the people that are getting trampled on um, and that are suffering and that can't afford health care for themselves or their children and that have to send their children to very inferior schools and have to tell their children there's no money for college and then the children have to see if they can get a loan and then the economy doesn't allow them to get a job where certain other people like Andrew Schiff um, with their brothers can get juicy kind of plum jobs quite easily where they make three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year I personally I don't know I'd like I, I you know I, I watch the Young Turks and Cenk always Cenk Uger from the Young Turks he always talks about you know oh what a great villa you know I know we all want to live there so you know go capitalism and go everything and I wish I could have that kind of lifestyle I mean obviously I want to be secure obviously I want to have lots of nice and fun things but no I don't actually want to live in a villa overlooking the peons I don't want to be I don't know flown everywhere by helicopter and have adoring crowds kind of uh, the worship me at every turn and part of that is because I think that would be a very dangerous thing for me personally I think I would become a worse person as a result and I think I would also be much more at risk um, of actually becoming um, becoming kind of unhappy from that from that dissociation with general society and with real people and then also that increased feeling of self-worth that will come from that so I think that's a very risky thing and I think that recent that, that there was this study that was recently pub published which in in fact I don't think was too novel it's like rich people uh, often behave like a-holes and one of the examples um, was you know where they did a little study on uh, people driving expensive cars and whether they stop for you or not and I don't know about you but I mean I I knew this already because that's what I've observed I mean there are two kinds of people that w are likely when you're crossing a pedestrian crossing with clear mark markations to not stop or to go really fast and then stop at the last second and one is the type of car that's blaring very loud music which are people that are obviously too cool for society and have hence put themselves outside of society they're gangsters um, and the other category of people that do that are people driving very very fancy expensive cars that go pretty fast and they obviously shouldn't have to stop for a dirty filthy peon crossing the road like you not even you know like on foot they would never 
be denigrated to the level where they would actually do that. Um, and so I don't think it's surprising where you have this kind of division of society um, and of people that just understand for themselves that they're better than everyone around them and that feel very ill-treated when they find that they cannot have everything they desire. Whereas, you know, I think a healthy attitude to have is to understand that you can't. Because there are other people around you that need things more than you need the thing you want. Other people may need healthcare more than you need the $1.5 million home. It's a fairly simple equation. And if you can't understand that, then there's a big issue. And the fact that we have so many people with a lot of wealth that cannot understand that. I always hear this talk about charity, this talk about how society would regulate itself fine without all of these social security things. Yet you have, at every point, wealthy people resisting these things, which shows me that the system as it is now, there is something deeply wrong there's something deeply wrong in how it makes people think and feel and interact with society. And so I think as long as we live in this system, we certainly uh, cannot get rid of safety nets because the upper echelons of society as a rule would do very little to help the people down below, um, except maybe to make themselves feel good. But they would in fact derive satisfaction from seeing that there are people worse off than them because if Peter Sh uh, sorry Andrew Schiff can see you struggling to pay your rent whilst he lives in his I don't know how much his current apartment or house is worth you know a couple of hundred thousand dollar house uh, then that will make him feel better about himself and that's obviously not a healthy society where uh, one level of society or one group of society or one class of society um, is rooting for the continued poverty of other classes or the continued kind of denigration and subservience and inferiority of other classes because that's what they need um, to fulfill their kind of ego and to sate their envy which they get attacks of when they look at the people just above them.